All right, what song should we do first? Oh, I can do this from my phone. Set up, dude. The setup is fucked, bro. It's fucked. All right. I'm doing this shit line for line. I don't know if I should turn the volume down. It's fine. Fuck it. I'm a product logic, undecided, you know what, I got it, um, undivided, let's rewind it, and just... Okay, uh, first line, I'm a product, product of logic, undecided, you know where I got it. That's basically me talking about my, one of my bigger inspirations, my biggest inspiration, um, obviously rapper logic. And then, you know, logic is basically reasoning and shit, and so, undecided... Yeah, you know, kind of a filler, kind of a filler word right there. But you know, um, and then you know where I got it. That's basically, obviously, I got my inspiration and my my skill mostly from him. So that's that's those two lines. The writing, uh, let's provide it and let's grind until we finally make it. Let's provide it and let's grind until we finally make it. Basically. Let's grind. Like I'm, I'm fucking like I'm working on music every goddamn day. Like no cap, I work every day, and I have ADHD, so it's kind of hard to consistently work on it 24 hours around the clock. But I work on it as much as I can and whenever I can. And whenever I can is basically all the fucking time. So I'm always grinding to get better until we finally make it. Obviously, and providing is providing the music and all the hard work. It's providing all the stuff that I've summed up and. Uh, have came up with from grinding on music. This be crazy, yeah, we blazing and I'm about to shake shit up. Yeah, obviously, the beat is fucking insane. Made by one of my favorite producers, Locify. He's a fucking god, bro. He's literally the best fucking producer. One of the best. I have two, VIG and Locify. This guy is fucking crazy, dog. He literally makes the hardest fucking turn up beats I have ever heard. They're fucking, I love them. We blazing like I'm fucking blazing on the track, dude. Like I fucking snapped, and I'm definitely about to shake shit up. Cause I don't play enough, raise the stakes, and then they yeah, play this up. Cause I don't play enough. Like fucking, I'm gonna have fun with this. I'm gonna play with this. I'm gonna do what I fucking want. Cause I don't play enough. I take shit serious all the time. Like way too much. I literally sacrifice hanging out with friends. I sacrifice um, playing video games with friends. I sacrifice talking to people. I. I literally give everything up for music because this is the shit that I want. This is what I want to fucking do. And I'm, God damn it, I'm going to do it, man. Nuts, homie, say they ra yeah, raise the stakes and then hating us. Basically, what I meant by that is I'm putting, putting myself at a more vulnerable point where people can attack me for writing shit lyrics and stuff or whatever fucking bullshit people want to shit on you for. Um, and so, yeah, if I do that, then they're going to definitely hate you. Nobody hates me currently. I mean, hold on. No, let's bring that back. I know there's people that hate me. They just don't say shit to my face because they're fucking pussies. That's how it is. And then they break and trust. Don't fuck with people because they just be playing. Uh, homies say they real and then they break and trust. Don't fuck with people because they just be playing us. That's the harsh reality of life. You you can have somebody who's gonna say, "Oh yeah, I'm your fucking homie, dude. I'm I'm gonna be there for you. We're, we're fucking best friends, dog." And then they just fuck you over, and then they just fucking play you, man. It's like f fucking bullshit. Yeah, so homies say they're real, and then they break and trust. I, I don't fuck with people because they just be playing me. That That's the truth. Um, I don't fuck with anybody. Like, I barely talk to anybody. Even my friends, they know I barely talk to them because I'm always working. I'm always working. I'm always doing my own thing. I'm always in my zone trying to get better and not be caught lacking. Um, yeah, people just be playing you. Didn't think I'd have to say this much or say this at all, but one day you're gonna fall. Yeah, so basically, um, didn't ha didn't think I'd have to say this much or say this at all, but one day you're gonna fall flat on your ass. Uh, I I never in my entire life thought that life would like actually like as a kid, you know, it was always like real happy shit, like n n nothing was fucking horrible like life is now. But I always thought, you know, the world's the world's a good place. I'm happy. And then, you know, I never thought I'd have to say um, that, you know, people just be fucking you over all the time. Like people that you thought were your best fucking friends, you're like, ride or dies, they be fucking you over. Um, and then 
w one day you're gonna fall flat on your ass and then in your ass and second that pass you'll be all alone no next second that pass you'll be all alone nobody to phone no homies to stay with the phone not even a home no homies to stay with the bitches to play with that, that is reality, reality. Come yeah um in the second that pass you'll be all alone so you can fuck people over and shit and then they, they, they're not going to be there for you anymore. They're going to be like, no, fuck you. I'm not. Why would I stay? Why, why would you be friends with somebody that's just going to fuck you over? Like, come on, man. Um, and then they're going to have nobody. They're going to have nobody. They're going to fall flat on their ass and need somebody just like you were, just like you did. And they were there and they fucked you over. And it's the same thing's going to happen to them. It's a cycle that just repeats. Um, and then they're going to have nobody to phone and not even a home. Like, OK, here's the thing about that line. Like. Home phone. There's no, they're not going to have anybody to call that's going to be there for them. They're not going to have any. There's not going to have any home to go to or home to phone. Like you're not going to have anybody's house to call that's going to that's going to pick them and be like, yo, you can come kick it here and st stay with us for a while. The, the, you're not going to have that shit if you fuck people over. Face it, we're all the time, never complacent. This ain't a song. This is a okay. That is reality. Come on, just face it. Facts. Um. Real all the time, never complacent, and facts yet again. I'm I'm not a fake motherfucker. I'm a, if I even if it's harsh, and I have to I have to say it. I'm not gonna fucking dance around it and like fucking sprinkle some sugar on it and lighten it. I'm gonna shoot it, shoot it straight how it is. I'm gonna tell you the truth and be brutally honest because I mean that's what it is, man. You gotta be a real person. That's that's just how it is. It's you're gonna be even if you get shit on more and people hate you more for being a real person. Fuck them. Just be yourself and be a real person. Um, this in a song, this is a statement. Yeah, I mean, I'm making a lot of statements. So mostly it is, it's a song, obviously, but it's mostly one big statement of don't be a fake bitch. Don't be a fucking asshole to your friends and just be a good fucking person. Climb to the top so you better watch your placement. All the top and it started from the base. Yeah, climb to the top so you better watch your placement. I'm like... That's me saying that I'm working and I'm going to fucking do everything I can and anything it takes to climb to the top. I don't give a shit what I have to sacrifice. I'm going to fucking make it. Like I really want to do it till I make it. I'm always on top, but I started from the basement. That's basically saying I'm always on top of my game, but you know, started from the bottom, you know, started from the bottom. What well, then you really want to take it. Uh, I know you out there and you really want to take it. Uh, yeah, this is basically get oh get it get it like I really want to do it till I make it I know you out there and you really want to take it get it like I really want to do it So I'm gonna get it because I really want to like I really want to do it I'm gonna go after it like I really want to do it because that's the truth. I really want to fucking make it um uh, And I'm gonna do I'm gonna have that mentality and have that energy all the way until I do finally make it and uh Uh I know you out there and you really want to take it. Yeah, that's like saying, you know, I am, I'm not the only rapper in the rap game, uh, like the underground, just kind of starting uh, SoundCloud rap game. I know there's other artists that are trying to make it and are that, that are the same way and that are like the same mentality that are going to try and take that spot. And um, they're out there and they really want to take it, you know. You and then they'll ignore you that they would adore you. Yeah, but I'll do it before you and then they'll ignore you. Oh, uh, yeah. So basically, I'm going to do it before you because I'm going to work harder because I want it more. And then they're going to they're gonna ignore you because then you're just going to be forgotten and you're just going to be nobody. Now they mentor you. Yeah, thought they would adore you, but now they mentor you. That's a good one. Thought they would adore you. So like you thought you, you, you had a lot of confidence and thought you were going to do it. And you thought that people would love you and you'd like have all this shit. And now they now they ignore you. No. Fuck. Now they men now they mentor you. Like they teach you how to be. Like, cause here's this here's the thing. Here's a, a thing about like being a, a celebrity of any kind, no matter what you are, what you are, how how good you are at that thing that you do that you're famous for, there's people that are gonna tell you how to do it. And even if you're not famous, people are gonna like shit on you and tell you how to do it. So like that's the truth. They wanna do it before new artists change it. Yeah, get it like I really wanna do it. I'm a chain up the stomach and use it a last for a while, just ask the pile. Yeah, get it like I really wanna do it before new artists changing up the genre. So like here's the thing, like in the current day hip hop, um the way things are is basically it's mostly trap, um, auto tune, shit like that. It's kind of changing the genre of the genre of like rap and hip hop itself. And so I'm saying 
that I'm going to do it. I keep hitting my microphone. Fuck. I'm sorry. Um, I'm going to, I'm saying that I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to get, bro, I'm losing myself. Hold on. Uh, yeah. Get it like I really want to do it before a new artist changes up the genre. So I want to make it before it changes again. I want to make it, but I want to bring my own style. Like, bring back kind of old school hip hop, but also keep it real with new school a little bit. But I want to keep it this way for now because I don't want shit to get any worse. Like I don't want auto tune to be like fucking overly, overly used. Like it already is kind of overly used, you know, but I mean, that is, that's what it is. I mean, it is what it is. I'm going to be a better artist than those fuckers though. He's like, I want you to understand the shit I'm saying. And I want to bring some real shit to my songs. Um, Making music that'll last for a while, just gas to the pile. Uh, yeah, making music that'll last for a while is just gas to the pile of of hip hop, basically, to keep it keep it alive. I'm a product logic, undis, 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 undecided. I fucking, I didn't, I have an MPC, but I didn't chop that up on an MPC. I literally just uh, cut it in FL Studio and then layered it and then just like stacked it back to back to back like that. And I fucking love it. Undivided, let's rewind it and decide, decide it, uh. Um, undivided, let's rewind it and decide, and decide to write it is what it was originally, but then I just chopped it. Um, undivided, like we're all undivided people. I mean, we're all different people, but we're we're equal. Yet we're we're undivided. Well, hold on. No, yeah, undivided, meaning we're all from like the same blood. Um, we're all we're all people. Um, that kind of shit. Let, let's bring it back to that. Let's bring it back to that and decide to write it and like rewrite history and write history how it really should be. Not all segregation and bullshit. Fight it and let's grind it till we feel we make it, huh? This be crazy, yeah, we blazing and I'm bald. Product logic. I, I love that. I love that. Decided, you know what? I got it, huh? Undivided, let's rewind it and decide to write it, huh? Let's provide it and let's grind it till we finally make it, huh? This be crazy, yeah, we blazing and I'm about to shake shit up. Pathetic, just pathetic, sympathetic bullshit. Don't need to go full spit to spill out some real shit. The type that make you feel shit. Always on that real shit. Then let's in my feel shit. Tell me how you feel shit. <laughs> I love what I did with the tell me how you feel shit. <laughs> Hypothetic, just pathetic, sympathetic bullshit. Don't need to go full spit to spill. Love some real shit. The type that make you feel shit. Always on my real shit. Let's say my feel shit. Tell me how you feel shit. Basically, um, hypothetic, just pathetic, sympathetic bullshit. People always be like that. Like, this is talking about how people are sensitive. This is a touchy subject, so I'm not going to get into it too much. Um... But, like, people will defend each other, not really defend each other, attack each other if the slightest thing is said, which is just pathetic, sympathetic bullshit. Um, and I'm saying don't need to go full spit to spell out some real shit. Like, I don't need to go all the way, uh, like, super heavy bars, rap shit to spill out some real shit. I can just tell it how it is and, like, fucking make it sound dope as hell. Um the type that make you feel shit. So this is the real shit that make you feel shit and think about stuff. Always on that real shit. Like I said before, I'm always a fucking real person. I'm a real motherfucker. I'm not going to be fake with anybody. I don't give a fuck if you're an asshole to me. I'm going to just tell it how it is. I'm going to be honest all the fucking time. Um, illest in my feel shit, that's facts. Like, this is, like, fucking hard. Like, I've been only doing this for five months now. Uh, at the time when I wrote this and recorded this and released it, it was only four months. Um, almost five months though, but like it lists in my field shit. That's me saying right now in that category of four, uh, four to five months of rapping, I'm definitely up there with one of the better artists that has a lot of potential and shit. Um, tell me how you feel shit. That's, uh, that's, this is going a lot, a, a lot along the lines of, uh, talking about feelings and being real. So basically, tell me how you feel shit. That's like, mm, how do I explain this? Because it, it all has to go together. All of this goes together. And it flows and it all goes together. Tell me how you feel shit. Basically, is like, what, what do you think it is? What do you think it is? Who are you? Who are you? Basically. And then I just go off here. Gonna stop to my heart stop, never gonna stop to the body drop. Not about the money, but I'm still gonna go out. I'm cooking this shit and it's still gonna hot. Don't give a fuck if you feel me or not. Dude, that, when I rapped that, it was uh, this entire verse was wrapped around midnight. Um, 
Uh, I stayed up. I didn't even take my fucking sleep medicine because I wanted to work on music. See, I, that's dedication. That's dedication right there. Um, but I didn't even take my sleep medicine to write this because I, I wanted to stay up uh, to fucking record this song and finish it because I was really feeling it. I'm like, damn, this is like my, one of my best fucking songs, man. I want to fucking get this shit done because I don't want to I don't want to wrap this the next day and have it sound all different. And I didn't want to I, I didn't want to deal with that. Um, so uh, I'm never going to stop till my heart stop. Always going to keep doing this shit. I'm never giving up on it, no matter what anybody say, no matter what happened in the future. Never going to stop to my while it, my. Fuck, bro. Never going to stop till my body drop. That's yet again. I'm never going to stop till I'm fucking dead. Not about the money, but I'm still getting guap. Like, this is mostly just braggadocious shit. Like, I'm not fucking pulling in a dime from rapping, but it's not about the money, but I'm going to still be making money. It's I'm not. It's not about the money, but I can still make money from it, you know? Um, uh, and I'm, yeah, still getting guap, still getting money. Uh, don't give a fuck if you feel me or not. I'm I'm talking real shit. I don't give a fuck if you feel me or not. I don't give a fuck if you relate to it. I don't give a fuck if you hate it. I don't care if you disagree with it. I don't give a shit. This is how I feel, and goddamn it, I'm gonna fucking say how I want to say it and say what I want to say. It's my music. Don't fucking if you hate it, don't go fuck yourself. Um, count on my blessings. Uh, and share what I got. Count on my blessings and share what I got. Charge, but don't measure in dots. I measure in watts. IG comments, but they just bots. Yeah. Um. Count on my blessings and share what I got. This is me just like saying I'm thankful for what I have um, and sharing what I have. Um, charged but don't measure in thoughts. I measure in watts. IG comments but they just bots. Charged but don't measure in thought. Don't charged but don't measure in th in watts. Fuck, dude. I'm like, there's so many words on this page and I'm just fucking getting like my brain's getting fucked. Counting my blessings and share what I got. Charge, but don't measure in thoughts. I measure in watts. IG comments, but they just bots. So here's the way. It's kind of worded weirdly. Because um, what I'm saying... Um, cause, okay, this is kind of like going on my mixtape shit. Because the cover of my, my mixtape that's going to be hopefully coming out next year is called Darkness. And basically, I'm floating in space. There's like electricity around me. So that's basically... Uh, that's a line that's referring to that. Charge, but don't measure in thoughts. I measure in watts, because like watts, electricity, all that. Um, and then charge, but don't measure in thoughts. So the the that that word in that line doesn't really fit that line, but it goes with the next line. IG comments, but they just bots, because you know, IG comments they're bots, but they're also fucking thoughts. Like literally, that's what it is. Um, so yeah, I just fucking because I I've been getting a lot of bots on my shit, and I'm just like fuck off. Uh, I don't discriminate, all I do is eliminate Anybody disrespecting me, reversing your trajectory Boy, you better be- Oh, dude, this goes hard um, I don't discriminate, I don't discriminate All I do is eliminate anybody disrespecting me, reversing your trajectory So, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm, like, fuck anybody that's disrespecting me I'm gonna, throw, I'm gonna throw that shit right back at you, bud And fucking turn you on your ass To me in four years when I make it, fuck a competition, I don't take it yeah, boy, you better be respecting me in four years when I make it. Fuck a competition. I don't take it. Y'all just fake it, claiming you did it yourself and it made it. No. Yeah. Um, I don't fuck. I don't care about competition. I'm going to just do what I can and do it my best. And I don't care if there's anybody out there that's better than me. Because I know there's going to be other people that's better than me. Like, no one truly is the best. It's only most liked. But being the most liked doesn't mean that you're the best. So, I mean, like, that's what it is. Um... Uh, better be respecting me in f four years when I make it. Hopefully in four years, I'm going to make it. I mean, that's kind of a bold line, but hopefully four years. Because, I mean, if I work every day for four years and I'm already this good, it, I mean, where am I going to be in four years? I mean, probably pretty good, right? Fucking damn good at rap. Uh, all of y'all just fake it, claiming you did it yourself and made it. Oh, dude, I thought about Ghost Riders when I wrote that. Like, claim it, you did it yourself and you made it. Like you fake it. They don't. Those ain't your lyrics. You claiming you did it yourself and you made it. No wonder why everyone just hate it. Why everyone just hate it? Cause people like me spitting facts and you just regurgitate. Cause people like me spitting facts and you just regurgitate it. Yeah. No wonder why everyone hate you because you have a ghostwriter. Cause people like me spitting facts and you just regurgitate it. You just you say it. You like people will say real shit and then other people will listen to that. Not even under fucking standing it, and then just like re like rewrite it a different way and say it. Like they're just copying off each other. It's fucking retarded, man. 
Started rapping, it got my journey dated But that shit ain't ever gonna end So you better not pretend I'm not who I am when I'm the boss I'm the man, I'm the one who got the plan Yeah, uh I started rapping and got my journey dated. So when I started rapping, when I started rapping, that's when I got my journey started. Journey dated, in other words, that's when it first marked the beginning. Um, but that shit ain't never gonna end. So you better not pretend I'm not who I am when I'm the boss. I'm the man. I'm the one who got the plan. Yeah, you better not pretend I'm not who I am. Like say that I'm somebody else. Say that I'm fucking pretending to be somebody. Like fuck that. Um, I'm the boss. I'm the man. I'm the one who got the plan. So I'm basically, I'm an independent artist. Like, I do this shit all on my own. I don't have anybody helping me. I don't have anybody helping me. I don't have anybody fucking, like, like teaching me shit. I mean, I do watch YouTube. I don't have a manager. I don't have a record label. I don't have anybody doing that shit. I do this all on my own. And it's a lot of fucking work, man. Um, but I'm the boss. I'm the man. I'm the one who got the plan. Then it goes Product logic, undis, 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 undecided, uh Undivided, let's rewind it and decide, decide it, uh Let's provide it and let's grind it till we, till we fake it, uh This be crazy, yeah, we blazing and I'm about to shake shit up Product logic, undecided, you know where I got it, uh Undivided, let's rewind it and decide to write it, uh Let's provide it and let's grind it till we finally make it, uh This be crazy, yeah, we blazing and I'm about to shake shit up Okay, good. Yeah, okay, well, I stopped it. Uh, I probably won't do mainstream. I don't think I'm going to do mainstream. I think... What the fuck? Uh, I think I'm only going to do Inner Me, and then... Because I don't want to spend too much time live streaming. Uh, I'll do Inner Me. I'll do Inner Me. Uh, this is a fucking great beat that Logic made, dude. This fucking beat is insane. Let me pull up the lyrics real quick. Talking out of shit, you can't face it. Boy, you can't erase it. Talking out of shit, but you can't face it. Talking out of shit, but you can't go face to face. You can't erase it. So, like, once you say that shit, it's fucking donezo, boy. People are gonna remember that. This was a test, I'd fucking ace it. This was a test, I'd fucking ace it. Copy and paste it. And paste it, cause I'm about to keep winning. I'm grinning. I wanted this shit from the beginning. Basically, me saying, if this was a test, I'd fucking ace it. I'm about to copy and paste my and my answers and keep winning and winning and winning, cause it's gonna be right, 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 cause it's the same shit back to back to back. If I do it good and I get it right, I'm gonna do it again and again and again. I'm gonna get it right, get it right, get it right. Win, win, win. Um, cause I'm about to keep winning. I'm grinning. I wanted this shit from the beginning. Yes, I really, I've like, I started wanting to be a rapper. Uh, 2019 is when I really got into rap and really wanted to be like in the music industry. Uh, but I like I never had enough enough confidence. Like you know how it is when you hear your voice in a recording and shit. You don't like to hear your voice and like you know it's like it took time to get over that. For two years, uh, I literally would listen to music all the time, every single day. Uh, blast that shit. Probably fucked up my hearing, but you know, yikes. Uh, it was worth it. Um, I'd always rap along the song every single time, always, 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 always. At first it started off, I was just lip syncing and then I stopped doing that and I started actually getting the confidence to literally just verbally rap. And then, um, once I was able to do that, I, I did it more and more and I did it like, fuck man, for like an entire year and a half. And then I got to the day where I'm like, I'm, I'm going to start writing my own stuff. And then I did that. And now here we are. And I've been writing and recording, mixing, mastering my own shit using YouTube Beats. Um, so, yeah, that's how that's how my shit started. Yeah, you know what I've been doing. Yeah, you know what I've been doing. My dream, I'm a seat to it. I think you know where I'm going. Yeah, yeah, you know what, yeah, you know what I've been doing. Uh, when I wrote this, I, w I was telling people, like, what I'm going to do. I, like, wake up every day during the summer, work on music, like, all the fucking time. I I'm already doing, like, music all the fucking time. Yeah, you know what I've been doing. Yeah, you know what I've been doing. Yeah, yeah, you know what I've been doing. And you know what I've been doing. My dreams, I'm going to see to and I think you know where I'm going. Um, my dreams, I'm going to see to and Like, I'm going to accomplish that shit. 
I'm going to accomplish my goals. And I think you know where I'm going, which is fucking up, baby. We going. Yeah, here we go, yeah. Then I had a flow, fucking up my creativity. This is how it really be. Trying to find my enemy. Nah, trying to find my enemy. I love that fucking... I love... Dude, that's such a good wordplay. That's such good wordplay. Learning how to flow, fucking on my creativity. That's just how it really be. Trying to fight my enemy. Nah, trying to find my inner me. Fucking, it, it's like, it's quick too. So it like, it can go over your head pretty fast. Um, But yeah, uh, learning how to flow does kind of fuck up your creativity. Because it, it like limits you, puts you in a box and what you can write and what you can't write. And it's kind of like, just like, it makes you want to give up. But you know, you got to push through that and, you know. Get over that shit and just keep going. Um, trying to fight my enemy? Nah, trying to find my enemy. Like, fuck trying to fight all my enemies. I'm trying to find my inner me and, you know, find inner peace and all that. Um, play clever and I'm coming with the energy. Always trying to be a better me. Every day you're all ready. Yeah, yeah, I'm just like that, yeah. Uh, wordplay clever and I'm coming with the energy. Always trying to be a better me. Every day I'll already be. That's like facts. Like, if you if if you're trying to be a better you every single day, you're gonna get better and you're gonna become a better you every single day. Um, we're play clever. I'm coming up with the energy that just refers to trying to find my enemy. Nah, trying to find my enemy. That's we're play and it's pretty fucking good, uh, if I do say so myself. And then just let, let me. I love I love this beat too. It's like fucking fantastic. Yeah, this my enemy, real all the time, bitch, I've been in deep. Can y'all feel my energy? Shit, I'm in energy Shit done got the best in me, I'm in this vibe and all this positive energy Yeah Bro, what the fuck, dude? This, I fucking snap, bro I haven't listened to this shit in a while, dog. This is great, dude. This is fan fucking tastic, dude. Oh my god. You know, I <laughs> there's some songs that I do cringe at that I'm like, I can do that way better now. But like this, dude, I think this is like f fucking ah oh, the beat too. Yeah, this my enemy, real all the time, bitch. I've been a G. Can y'all feel my energy? That's kind of a logic line, but you know, we'll keep that on the low. That's kind of a a secret right there. I mean. It's not that I'm trying to reuse this shit. I'm just referencing him because, like, I fucking respect the man a lot. And, like, hats off to him right there. Um, but, yeah, this is my enemy. Real all the time. I'm just, like, talking about being myself. Um, that's, a, that's a big theme on most of my songs. And I'm trying to branch out and do some different shit. Because it's, it's like, it's you don't want to talk about the same stuff over and over. This beat goes fucking insane, dude. Um... And I, I made the beat switch. I threw in another beat over it because uh, the other one was too short and I wanted to make this a longer song. And so, yeah, it's two minutes. Um, real all the time, bitch, I've been a G. Can y'all feel my energy? Like, I've been a G. I've been real all the time. Can y'all feel my energy? Shit, I meant energy. Shit that got the best of me. Feeling this vibe and all this positive energy. Think I got carpal tunnel from working so hard. Starting to see the light and my vision has got so broad. Oh, that's a bar. That's a fucking bar, dude. Hold on. Okay, so basically at the time, uh, I'm going to move my mic a little bit. Hold on. Okay, yeah. Uh, basically at the time, I fucked up my hand from, I don't know what it was. I was just using my mouse and my fucking hand, like, oh my God. I think I got kind of carpal tunnel because I fucked it up, dude. And it hurt to like move my wrist um, because I was using the computer so much and working so hard. Um, I'm starting to see the light and my vision has got so broad. So, oh, that's such a bar, dude. Um, starting to see the light. So like the light at the end of the tunnel and my vision has got so broad tunnel vision. If I'm at the light at the end of the tunnel, my vision's getting wider because it's no longer tunnel vision. Fucking God, dude. Ah, it snapped. I'm 16 and this can be the best year I ever had. Yeah, I wrote this and recorded this and then released it the day I turned 16. And uh, here's a line that's just basically saying, fuck my dad, you're a fucking asshole and you know what fuck it i don't need you dad you love me and that's the best thing i ever had you know like yeah fuck my dad he's a fucking cunt fuck you dad um the bitch really said uh, like like okay the first time um 
he asked me like what what you've been doing i'm like oh working on music what kind of music i told him rap oh that's cool didn't even ask dude didn't even know he didn't want to fucking listen to my music he didn't give a shit like fuck that cunt man fuck him um i mean but that's what a fucking fuckboy dad is i guess I mean, what do I, what do you expect if he leaves and divorces your if if he leaves your mom and divorces her and cheats on her? What do you expect? I mean, he's gonna be a piece of shit, right? That's just how it is, unfortunately. Um, yeah, he left me, and that's the best thing that ever had happened. Cause now, like, look at this is what it led to. Like, think positively about that. Don't worry about like all the things that the negative things. Think about the positive things that it can bring. Cause you know the way it is is like, uh, any anything negative, there's gonna be something positive. Negative is negative is always positive. Negative is always positive, and positive is always negative. Like there's always downsides to everything that's good, and upsides to everything that's bad. Um, so yeah. Because without that, I wouldn't be fucking snapping on the track. I'm murdering this song right now, and that's a fact. Yeah, without that, I wouldn't be snapping on the track, and I'm murdering this song right now, and that's a fact. Like I fucking snapped. I'm gonna take this to the finish without looking back. Yeah, I'm not taking back anything I said. And then I'm gonna let this ride. Dude, this is fire. And then I just let it. Got some nice vinyl crackling sounds at the end. Okay. Um. Now, I think I can. I can. I'm gonna just go here. Hold on, real quick. Oh shit. Uh. Nah. Nah. Look at this. Look at how fucking. Oh god. This is. Oh no. I'm gonna just keep it here. Um. Okay. Uh. Fuck. We don't got any viewers, but you know, I don't give a fuck. If I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this shit as if there was people watching me, as if there was a hundred people watching me, fifty people, because you know that's that's like if you're at a concert, you gotta bring the energy of fucking up an entire crowd, even if there's like five people watching you. That's what's what it is, man. Uh, but yeah, um, I wrote this yesterday. I might fuck this up. I'm being real vulnerable here, as an artist. But I did practice this, so hopefully I don't fuck it up. Uh, I'm, I'm just gonna go acapella, alright? Here we go. Um, uh, break it down like I don't need you. Passing out like anesthesia. Can't understand the proceed. Fuck. Break it down like I don't need you. Passing out like anesthesia. Can't understand the procedure. So that's why you ain't a leader. Which is why I'm an MC eater. Never picking up the heater. Cause I don't need to take shots when I can easily make hits. Working my way to the top so I can pay for both my kids. But only when the time is right. You know we working day and night. I'm always working so much. No, you cannot stay tonight. Now we not about to fight. I can break up with you right now. I'll make out with you right now. It's my time. I'm gonna say what the hell I wanna write down. Woo! I can spit it iller than any other vanilla killer from the west side. The best side. This flow is like a test drive. You know we got the best live stream that nobody can intervene. I'm a lyrical miracle spirit. To a killer machine, I flow dirty, but the rhymes clean. I like to break it down when I'm on the scene. Don't take me for a joke, I'm not Charlie Sheen. My music's always polishing. I'm verbally about to end this. They call it a balashine. And that's fucking that I'm gonna fucking throw that on a song, dude. Like that is hard. That is fucking hard. I did kind of good there. I mean, I didn't fuck it up really. I think I forgot. I, I'm verbally about to end this. Call that a balashine. I didn't fucking take out the they. My music's always polishing. I'm verbally about to end this. They call it a fuck. I'm verbally about to end this. Call that a balashine. Yeah, now it's on beat. Uh, but yeah, I fucking wrote that in like 20 minutes. Like, I mean, I don't know why I did so good when I was not even writing to a beat. But I mean, you know what? I mean, I'll take it. I don't care. I mean, it's fucking fire shit, dude. Um, I don't know if I got much more to to say here on the stream. I think I might play some unreleased. I mean, should I play some unreleased music? I'm going to play some unreleased music. This stuff might not ever come out. Oh, shit. I might sneeze. Yo. I might sneeze, dog. Uh, hold on. Give me a second. Uh, um, thinking of one. Uh, thinking of a good one. I'm trying to find a good one. What is this one? I don't know what this one is. I 
can feel this in my soul. Getting money ain't the oh, this is a good many one. stories that I'm told, but I'ma let it all unfold. I'm the one that ran the race and only got second place. Who knew that so much hard work could all go to started back in 2011 when I wasn't even seven. Chilling with my homies at recess. Me and my brother and always had each other's backs. Yeah, I remember that and I'm never forgetting that. Sometimes I want to get it back, but it's in the past. Like a dream when I passed out and I got asked out by a girl in the second grade. But I can't remember the name and damn. I hope I love this song. I got a fucking oh, I'm right. Um. Oh, this is another one. This will come out later. I'm not gonna spoil it when, but uh. I'm not gonna let you hear this part because that's. Yeah, walk around, get around, hit you with a better sound, better hit the ground, sweet, not found, innovate, penetrate, gun you down on what you disintegrate from that hit, we integrate, shit is just fate, try to save yourself, but it's too late. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna let you hear too much because I don't want to ruin it, but I mean. Um. Uh, I don't got too much else to say. I don't got too much else to do. Uh, I'm gonna upload this on YouTube. Um. So anybody that missed the stream can go watch it on YouTube. I'm also going to post it on IG because fuck it. I, I'll let people watch it if they want to. This is a long stream. I mean, so what do you expect? Uh, yeah, I have a lot of other stuff. Did I put that in my unreleased playlist? I have 18 unreleased songs. Most of them aren't fully finished, but did I put it in? I think I did. What about... Oh, this is yeah. another one. I'm gonna mix this a little better. I love that beat, dude. Dude, I picked some good beats. The fuck? I picked some damn good beats. Uh... Yeah, I don't got too much else. So, I mean, um, I know nobody's watching, but I don't give a shit. Uh, thank you to anybody who ever watched the stream. Um, I'll probably be streaming next Wednesday. Same time. I set up a schedule. I'll probably customize this shit all a little bit better. Um, but, you know, thank you uh, to everybody who supports me supports my music thank you to my my mom for always fucking supporting me and being one of the best parents ever uh thank you to my homie carson and landon y'all are fucking two of the best friends i've ever had in my entire fucking life and i'll see you guys next wednesday peace out <laughs>